The alleged gunman, Sheldon Francis, 29, of Middleton, Delaware, 86-year-old Paul Marino and 85-year-old Lydia Marino died after being shot. Six armed men entered their home. Ali Potenza and her mom Eileen, bleeding and sexually violated. You better start reading. There's an instruction manual. The Bergman family thought they could prepare for their mother's last goodbye. But nothing could prepare them to for each other. Can you take that pile of sheets to the laundry? I can't do anything till I've had my coffee. She's your brother's wife. I thought you hated her. I never said that. You did, actually, at their wedding reception. Was I drunk? <laughs> Is she feeling any pain? Just press the button. Do we each get one? For a dying person, your mother is looking very healthy. You wrote your own obituary. I had some time. Four siblings. So you're not dealing with this at all? I'm big sister. Man. Why not? I'm your big sister. I'll stay as long as I can, but I'm really busy. Yeah, this isn't that important anyway. Don't start, Keith. Stuck under the same roof. It is so obvious that I'm not welcome in this family. How is Mrs. Bergman? Not no, by all. They discover that there is laughter. You're going to be all right. You look good. Even in the midst of sorrow. Officers arrested 44-year-old Lamont cousin, 65-year-old mother, Virginia Lewis, had been shot and killed. Owner Clay Turrentine and another employee, Veronica Jones, to an abandoned building where cousins killed them. Three lives are lost. Killing a 97-year-old woman as she slept in her bed. 42-year-old Darwin Caldwell, a man with at least 50 prior arrests. 25-year-old Sundin Johnson, he's lost both legs, and if he survives, he may end up with permanent brain damage. They were in their 80s. They were found shot to death during a January 5th break-in at their home in Kentwood, a crime that terrified neighbors. Now, Higgins is also being charged with home invasion for that break-in and using a firearm in a felony. Walden is accused of killing former city commissioner Edie Yates and her attorney husband, David Henderson.